Beautiful Souls is Karen here at Summer Duke Inspirations and I'm still away at the moment but I'm doing a Divine Masculine Energy Check-In. Um, I'm limited with the decks I have here so it will be slightly different but it's still all about energy. So this is for those of you in separation, no contact. Okay, I want to thank you all for your love and support. I really appreciate that. Um, don't forget to check out my Etsy shop if you want to purchase a reading. My card shop, over 90 designs. And my Patreon, just $5 a month if you want to join up. And when you do, you get free reading. There's a, a massive back catalogue of videos. There are exclusives on there as well that haven't ever been on YouTube. So check that out. Okay, so let's get started with the reading. So I'm using the Sacred Destiny Oracle. So this is the Divine Masculine Energies at the moment. So we've got Simplicity. Delight. Community. Gateway. Diligence. Going forward, inner peace, stillness, patience, happiness, enlightenment, wisdom. Courage and success. So I feel that the masculine is simplifying his life right now. Okay, he could be having a really big overhaul of his life, trying to simplify things. This could be around family situations. This could be in the workplace. He's trying to simplify things. Maybe he's had taken on too much in the past. And we've got delight. So I feel he's finding delight in the small things. He's being in that energy of gratitude and appreciation. And he could be doing a job in the community. Maybe he's volunteering in the community. Or he's feeling more part of the community in some way. And he's moving through a gateway. You know, he's coming out of the way he used to be into a new way of being. Maybe he's done some inner work. And I feel he has. And he's looking at things from a new perspective. And diligence, he's having due diligence. You know, he's taking responsibility for his actions, for his words, his deeds. And he wants to move forward in life. And in that card, you can see movement towards the sun to happier times. And underneath, we have got the happiness card. And he's finding that inner peace. He's finding that stillness. Maybe he's doing a spiritual exercise. Maybe he's doing meditation, prayer. Um, some sort of Tai Chi or Qigong exercise, you know, a daily spiritual practice or just spending time alone in nature. And he's working on being patient. Maybe he, he struggled with that before in the past. And I feel this has been a lesson for both of you in, in these separations. And he's finding his own happiness. We're all responsible for being finding our own happiness and he's receiving enlightenment okay like I said he's done a lot of inner work he's grown and he's got more understanding now and he's gained in wisdom he's become much wiser and he's finding the courage to move forward in his life because he's wanting that success here he's wanting that success and I feel that success is you know in this connection he's wanting to make a success of this connection so let's go a bit deeper with the tarot and I'm using the Celtic tarot. So what is that simplicity talking about there? Well, we've got four of wands. So I feel he wants to be stable. He wants to get grounded. He wants to build a firm foundation. He wants a start again. OK, I feel he wants to start again with this connection and put in that time and effort that maybe wasn't put in before. And he's finding delight in the small things in life. In the simple pleasures, I feel. Let's 
What's the simple pleasures about? Pleasures about yeah, we've got six of cups, so I feel he's nostalgic. I feel he's thinking of those times that he shared with you, the times that you shared, the things that you did or said. He's really reminiscing about that. And, you know, he has good memories of, of some of that time, obviously. Some, some were not so good, but he's focusing on the good. And we've, we've got the community energy there and that. We've got the King of Cups. So I feel it could be a water sign you're connected with, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or he's just more in his feelings, okay? He's, he's paying more attention to his feelings and he's in a loving energy. And um, that energy of wanting to help others, um, to be compassionate, um, to be giving in some way, to be nurturing in his community. Maybe he is doing some volunteer work or he's helping in the community in some way. And I feel he's stepping through a gateway to a new way of being, a new version of himself here. Yeah, we've got the temperance energy, so that talks about balance. I feel he's very much coming into balance, balancing out maybe his masculine and feminine aspects, balancing out the yin, the yang, the dark, the light, the negative, the positive, coming into balance. And I do feel that is all about divine timing. So he's really done done work or he's doing work on himself. And he's he's having due diligence, he's taking responsibility. And we've got the sun, and he's bringing that into his own life. He's being responsible. He's focusing on the, the lighter side of life. He's not getting trapped and stuck in the darker elements. He's bringing in happiness and joy within his heart again. And he wants to move forward here. Wow, we've got the chariot. So you can see the chariot. We've got the dark and the, and the light horse. And he's charging forward. I feel this is your masculine. He's charging forward fearlessly and we had that courage come out so he definitely wants to move forward here and i feel it is with his feminine to to take steps and he's found that inner peace he's got that inner peace within him we've got the world energy so he's coming into a new chapter of his life he's letting go of the way things were in the past the way he was in the past he's wanting a whole new chapter here he wants an end to this separation i feel and he's finding that stillness within himself okay and we've got the Six of Pentacles. So again, that balance, that inner balance of give and take, realising maybe that it was our balance of connection before. And maybe you get, you know, the feminine, maybe you gave and they just took. There wasn't that reciprocation. There wasn't that balance. So they realised they need to get into that. And having that patience, we've got the Ace of Wands. So there is a fire burning here. There's a lot of passion and desire here, okay? But he's kept that in check because he's really waited to be in that right energy before he comes forward. He wants to be the best version of himself and to be in that happy energy, to be, you know, a much better version of himself than he was before. Here yeah, we've got Queen of Pentacles. So some of you watching, you could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or he sees you in that energy. You are his happiness, but he's finding his own happiness, but you bring it, make him happy. You brought him joy. He sees you as somebody very nurturing, loving, grounded, financially stable, somebody, you know, stable in that own energy. And he looks up to you, you know, and he's had that enlightenment. He's really seen the truth and we've got the high priestess. So I feel he's really tapping into his own intuition right now. Okay, he's listening to his inner voice, his inner guidance, and he he sees you as somebody highly intuitive as well, and he sees you as the Queen of Cups. So you are a match with that King and Queen of Cups there. Although you may be Earth sign, you know, they see you in that energy, that loving, compassionate, nurturing energy. And we've got wisdom and we've got the Ten of Wands. So there's been a lot of obstacles, there's been a lot of hardships. There's been a lot of things that I feel that you both had to go through. 
and you're getting ready he's getting ready to put down these burdens okay he's, he's had those lessons he's learned from it and he's getting ready to put down those burdens yeah we've got page of wands so he's getting ready to communicate here he's getting ready to make make some sort of um move towards you reaching out towards you and we've got the courage yeah he's finding that courage to move forward yeah six of swords moving away from the past energy coming out of hell you know what sort of energy was in before being a better version of himself and i feel that's for both of you and you know coming into smoother waters wanting that for this connection and having that success here and we've got that success finding success yeah we've got the death card so transforming both of you going through a transformation transforming out of the dark into the light happier times ahead and i'm wanting to transform this connection yeah we've got the knight of cups so wanting to and we're in coming into valentine season as well so that could be significant for some of you i just got that message so the knight of cups wanting to be your knight in shining armor wanting to be romantic wanting to be loving wanting to be playful to offer you love to offer you something and have good times with you yeah take a leap of faith into a new beginning and we've got the rainbow there so taking a leap finding the courage to move forward wow okay let's get some additional messages so as i said i'm limited with the decks i have here so i thought i'd get some angel messages of guidance for the masculine so we've got to take a step back so sometimes before moving forward we need to take a step back like a bit like the hangman you know take take a pause look at things you know before rushing forward and i feel that's what he's been doing he's really gone within and he's really comes become stronger and he's receiving guidance and he's listening to that guidance he's really following that guidance and he's getting more connected we can see someone meditating now as i said i feel he's meditating or doing some sort of spiritual practice and he's grounding his energy is getting connected to mother gay is really getting grounded and yes he's accepting the healing he's going through a healing right now he's opening up his heart we've got the green of the heart chakra there so he's opening up to be in that energy of give give and take to, to give and receive love and yes it's all about divine timing so again i think that came out earlier you know he's trusting in the process now he's trusting he's having faith so let's get your final messages yes surrender to the divine so that's what he's doing that you know the advice might be for them to take a step back to surrender to the divine to follow your guide their guidance and release negativity i feel that's what they've been doing okay we can see that with the six of swords and the death card they're transforming out of a negative space into a happier space within their mind and heart and a fiery climax approach is full moon in aries so we've got the full moon as i'm recording this and aries season is not that far away that could be significant for some of you as well okay but a fiery climax it always feels like a very passionate encounter to me like two people coming back together um for a passionate embrace a passionate connection so take what resonates for you so i'm going to leave it there love and blessings take care